what it do, what it do, what it do. We're back at it again with another vlog. We haven't did a vlog since the proposal. Yeah. This time, we are going to... Costa Rica! Watching the videos, we get to have personal drivers, man. Praise be. Hey, we use that new camera, y'all. We using that Digi Pocket. DJI Pocket, baby. Three. And sponsor us at Maha and Badger on YouTube. We're going to Costa Rica for a week. Don't want to see a week worth of stuff. A week worth of content. So as we mentioned before, we were really able to elevate our um, travel transportation this time around because of you guys. And, we have our personal and now we have, we have two. yeah, we actually have two personal drivers now. <laughs> yeah, there's no problem. No problem. <laughs> no problem. He's been our personal driver so, for some years, and we're just finally able to make him full time. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Guys. What I got is it's refrigerated. I got waffles. Y'all want waffles? Wow, thank you. Okay. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so we uh, put his pay from free to a dollar. Now he, oh, wow. a dollar, oh, I'm so generous. a dollar every five hours. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so very grateful, you guys. So well above minimum wage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now we're on the way to the airport. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh. See you there soon. And we made it. We're at security. I mean, we passed security and all that jazz. And this time, Christian didn't lose uh, his AirPods. Actually, oh, yeah. he can't find his AirPods right now. So yeah, he's got a different are. set. I do not know where my AirPods are, so I got the Beat headphones. So here's a game plan for our travel adventure. This is why I have adventure written on me permanently. We are traveling to Costa Rica and once we get to San Juan International Airport we have to then go to a much tinier airplane which Christian was kind of hesitant to do. I don't blame him. That I thing is tiny. Do a six hour drive. <laughs> yeah anyway we have to go on a much tinier airplane to Santa Teresa which is a smaller island or a smaller town in Costa Rica and we'll finally make it to the Airbnb and we'll show you the whole shebang. Christian really did his thing with the whole shebang, you guys. I be picking the best Airbnbs. Yeah, he does. I'm an Airbnb picker. Yeah, he is. He's He just really fell into that role. She can't do it like me. And we can't wait to show you where we're actually staying and it's right next to the beach and it's gonna be so beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. a crazy week. So. We were watching YouTube videos of other couples and other people who have traveled to Santa Teresa to see where they've gone. So we're probably going to go and see some waterfalls, take some surf lessons. So I will. I'm definitely not taking those surf lessons. We're going to be right on the ATV, so stay tuned for that. Try some local food, some good fruit, good coffee. Costa Rica is known for their coffee. And watch us speak Spanish. By the time we come back, we finna be fluent, boy. Gracias. Okay. Adios. We're about to go on the tiny plane. Nice. <laughs> All right. We're walking because we're so important to our private jet. <laughs> private jet. <laughs> Kidding. This is the tinier plane that we have to take to get to Santa Teresa. <laughs> I'm not even nervous. This is how I felt when I was going skydiving. Like I wasn't even nervous. I was just like, you uh, yeah. Great. Can't relate. <laughs> made it to Cobano Airport. Now we have a 25 minute drive to Santa Teresa. Thanks, Christian. <laughs> we 
have finally made it we're to here, Santa Teresa. Finally here, and we're at our Airbnb. Yeah, girl. It's just very nice. We're about to show y'all. So, come in here. Got the living room. Ew. <laughs> Look at the the design of the wall back here. It just looks so luxurious. Yeah, hold on, wait a minute, boy. Boy! This is unreal. You know you're in Costa Rica when you got real life plants that are growing and thriving in the bathroom. Tell you guys immediately, but this is why we have a kids' room. No. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. They have a full size and queen size bed at the bottom, and then a twin bed at the top. It's so cute. They have these tiny little stairs going up. To the twin bed. And everything has AC inside too, so yeah. Out different bedrooms Probably. just because. And over here, I told totally you the privacy, but here we have the balcony. Yep. Balcony. We ain't come out here yet, but that's the beach. The beach is literally over there, which we're not going no more. So that's the balcony. And then we'll show you guys downstairs. Alright, downstairs, shall we? We got the whole bathroom right here. Oh shoot, I forgot. <laughs> and then we have the bathroom. Oh, oh, yeah. All the bathrooms are just stellar. The sinks? I like the sinks. Who is she? Hello? Yeah. Also, I, I already used the bathroom, but they have their own little stamp. That's all. Good. Yeah. Alright, now we should go back now. So here we have the best parts. Surfboards because you know we're living the Puerto Rican lifestyle. It's one of those often frequent out over here. My favorite animal ever. So yeah. We're basically living with nature. Yeah, you love nature, huh? I love nature. Especially lizards. Especially iguanas. Got our own pool. Yeah. And then the beach is literally over there. There's a little trail over there through the palm trees to go swimming. I just hope our shots do this Airbnb justice because it's so beautiful. I think we've got yeah. to go get something to eat. Yeah, so, it's definitely uh, been a long travel day. And man, it's going to be a lot of stuff we got to do. Yeah, week. for sure. We're literally at the restaurant next door to us, like on the other side of that. Over place, there so is, yeah. <laughs> literally. So we're at this yeah. nice restaurant on the beach. Yeah, it's beautiful. Maha going to ask the security guard about the restaurant in Spanish, knowing dang well. She don't even know Spanish like that. That man replied back in full on Spanish. And then he asked us a question. I said, huh? And she thought she, he knew what he was talking about. Then he started walking, so we followed him. And yeah. he brought us to the restaurant. God bless. Which I kind of figured it was around here. Yeah. But, yeah, well, my Well, Christian was the one that said, ask the security guard. I did. Because she knows Spanish. <laughs> but apparently not enough. She, she, took, she took out Google Translate. They didn't even use it. Look at our food. I got a tuna poke bowl. And Christian got a burger and fries with some lemon and ketchup. Yes. What's up, guys? Morning. This is day one officially in Santa Teresa, Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. 
and as y'all can see we're on the balcony up here beach is over there we woke up to this it's kind of it's kind of crazy mm -hmm. really crazy actually one minute you're in charlotte north carolina packing till 2 a.m to get your life together for this trip and then the next you wake up and you're here what yeah. a blessing so i think we're about to get up and go to the beach it's like 7 a.m here we woke up at 6 due to it being an hour behind yeah we're so used to waking up 7 8 we're about to get ready probably go to the beach and see what's up there because it's literally literally in the back like there's people out with their surfboards and everything yeah apparently this is like the surfing beach so yeah, yeah. we probably won't go swimming no in this beach just because of the swell yeah and the fact i can't swim that right. that also is yeah. a reason I feel like we're the only black people in santa's you know what we will only be the black people in a lot of places in the world but that's okay that's okay because we we traveling traveling black couple and we'll see you at the beach we're here at the beach what is this banana beach we're at banana beach this is the beach our airbnb is located on and it's very, very, very beautiful. And that's that's what happens when a YouTuber comes in town. Oh my God. You have to make Suddenly it closed off. Private. Now we're just looking for a place to settle. It didn't reach. Mountains. It's very nice. All right, y'all, now we are laying down on the beach and relaxing. Maha's over here. She's laying down as well. What we're gonna do today is, one, go back to the house and get in the pool probably, because I ain't getting in that water. That water aggressive. I'll be dang if I get swept away. Then she wanted to go to a coffee shop, so I think we're gonna walk to a coffee shop and see what's popping on the streets of Santa Teresa. So let's get it. Ah. Alright y'all, we're here at the pool now finally. Y'all know how I always talk about how I don't know how to swim, so my husband's about to teach me. I'm gonna show y'all how I do swim first. Yeah. And then she's gonna teach me how to really swim. So I'm gonna set y'all up to see the whole thing. Alright. Before we leave, I'm gonna learn how to swim. We got this pool for till Saturday. Yeah. And it's our own pool at that. Exactly. All right, y'all, I'm about to swim real quick. All right, y'all go. Oh, no. Up, hey, I'm down. feeling violated right now. <laughs> oh. Up, down. All right. Up, down. Up, down. Up, Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Exactly. Up, down. Up, yes. Down. Up, down. That literally Up, looks so down. much better already. Up. I don't know. We might need to get a pool in that yard. <laughs> that was day one of swimming lessons. Let's see. Hopefully, I get better throughout this trip. Anyway, we are en route to the roastery. It's a coffee shop in Santa Teresa, and I'm pretty sure it's westernized, but hey. Anyway, it's a 13 minute walk. We're about three minutes in, and still got 10 more minutes to go. So we'll probably see you when we're at the actual coffee shop because it's pretty loud right now. And there's a lot of different smells going on. <laughs> so, <laughs> just a lot of cars and we probably got Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but we'll see when we get there. People be talking to us, I don't know what the hell they be saying. <laughs> I just be like, yeah, hola, gracias. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Okay, we are now at the roastery. It's pretty loud in here, but we're just grabbing some breakfast and we got two smoothies. We interrupted Trigger's scheduled vlogging 
to enter into Maha's kitchen. Cocina de Maha. Where we're gonna learn how to cut a coconut. Or open up a coconut. Anyway, let's go. I only watched one YouTube video of this man cut a coconut or open up a coconut. Here we have the coconut and it's got water in it. <laughs> so he said to look at these three different points here and then we get a knife and basically try to open it up. Here's our knife. I'm doing the first incision. <laughs> you gotta stick it in there? Yeah, I gotta stick it in there. You ain't got no scissors. A scissors? Let's try a different coconut. Use this hammer. Oh no, I got it. look, 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 look. See, this one's easy. Okay, see, this one is a lot easier, but you can see the incision's already folding in. You see oh. that? There you go. Bang. Ants. <laughs> oh gosh. I also got this device. I don't know what it's for. I actually think it's for um thingy. Bang. And now Christian's gonna try the coconut water. I ain't never had coconut water from a coconut. Cheers. <laughs> I was being careful. I, ain't. I tasted a little bit. Alright, now I'm gonna drink it. Pretty good. What does it taste like? I mean. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Coco de agua. Agua de coco. Cheers. Ciao. What? What? That was that was rough. <laughs> What just happened? I just asked if they do delivery and they said yes, they do delivery. So I was like, okay, one moment. Because I needed to figure out how do we say we'll call back to order food. But the first translation, he didn't understand. So he said something, oh yeah, this is Italian. And I was like, this isn't what I said. So I had to <laughs> ask again. I mean, I had to translate again. We will call back to order food. And that's what I said the last time. And then he was like, okay, cool. Okay. So now we have to figure out what we want on the menu and then call again to order. It was me, y'all. Hello? <laughs> huh? You know English? I'm oh, English. I'm hungry. <laughs> Help. Give it to someone who can speak. <laughs> I would have quit. I was, I don't know. He, he would give me anxiety when he speak fast. Puedo pedir una pizza de margarita pequeño? Una margarita. Sí, por favor, pequeño. Una pizza margarita pequeña, listo. Um, y una ensalada jardín y dos verduras asadas. Dos ensaladas, eh, dos vegetales rostizados. Sí. ¿Dónde está, más o menos? Uh, calle, calle Vía Bonita, entrada Banana Beach. Al frente de Banana Beach está en el no lo Gold Coast. Este está en las villas de Banana Beach. I'm trying to practice Yo, my I Spanish. Told her to ask him he knew English. I understand. She, he knew English. But I'm trying to practice my Spanish. I, I get you. Uh, I, I, do you accept U.S. cash? Good in dollars. It's gonna be around like a let me see, around sixty bucks, like fifty-seven dollars. Okay. That's good. Okay. $57! Yo, shout out to Maha for killing that, even though he knew English. He was probably in his head thinking, man. She's trying her best. She's trying. He was like, ooh, mommy, look, let's <laughs> cut the crap. What What do you want? You, I, I know English. I know, yeah. I'm sure he knows like enough English to make orders, you know? Exactly. So, good job, well, though. Well, we did it, guys. Hopefully, they meet us out the front of the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all, so we finally got our food. We already ate some of it, but. So I got pizza, I ain't gonna lie. It's pretty greasy and trash, but I'm hungry. Cause we've been waiting for like an hour. <laughs> Maha got a salad. How is it? It's all right. It's not worth $60, no. I know that. <laughs> but we, did, we didn't feel like going out. No. We didn't feel like going out and getting something to eat cause we've been out 
all day ate at two different restaurants. <laughs> but yeah, we ain't gonna do takeout no more. And at that, she ordered the wrong pizza. I did, I'm sorry. I wanted pepperoni, not cheese. She said margarita. I don't even drink margaritas. <laughs> Let alone eat it. Her food really look crazy. <laughs> They just put a bunch of veggies in their trunk. But yeah, so that's it for this day. So we shall see y'all in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Day two in Costa Rica, Santa Risa. And we are going to get Maha some medicine so she can poo poo. Okay. A lot of plans today. So after we get me some medicine so I can poo poo, we're coming back. We're going to walk back to the ATV rental place, Pacific Dirt Road pick up our ATV and then from there we're going on a whole beach adventure basically we're gonna stop at different beaches across the way and test them out and see which one we like best all right you guys we got some pills it's called Anara and it's a laxative I take two in the morning two a night and she said I should have bowel movements within the hour all right let's go So we on the way to get the ATV and look what we ran into, a lizard. Hey, y'all know, Maha hate lizards, boy. Let's just keep going, babe. <laughs> oh, they're gonna go another. <laughs> no, I'll just play. Stop. <laughs> Guys, we're finally in the side-by-side -side Honda. It's not an ATV, it's like a step up from an ATV. It looks more like a car. Um, and Christian's driving. My blood pressure has gone down slightly now that we're parked and not in a moving vehicle. But I will say, like, there's no way we could have walked all of this. We would have missed out on a lot if we just walked everywhere. Yes. Because there's so much more, a lot more to this trip, like, beyond where we stay. There was a local that told us that basically Santa Teresa Beach is just one long strip of ocean and then there's smaller beaches all across. So there really is like no such thing as going to Santa Teresa Beach because you're already in Santa Teresa and it's like smaller beaches that you go to. Now we're here. Yay. We are finally here at the beach. Play a coco or I don't know. It does look a lot different from the other one. I bet this water cold too. Oh, it's actually kind of just warm. The water's not cold. It's just a bunch of rocks we can sit on. Dang, it's a bunch of rocks. What, what be, ow, free. Playa Copal. What, what beach is this? Playa Copal. Okay. Boca. Copal, whatever. Very nice. Woo! Don't get taken. Woo! Yeah, don't know. Saying woo. You gonna end up out there and now I'm gonna be screaming for someone to come get you. Right. Cause uh, my swimming skills aren't that good. I'll say the only negative about is all these shells and rocks and stuff you gotta walk through. I'm hurting my feet. All right, that was the only con. We're headed back to civilization as I like to call it cause I need some service to figure out the next beach we're going to. This beach was all right. I liked it because you could actually swim in it because the rocks were like protecting you from the big waves. It was too much sand. But, oh my gosh, the sand was very, very hot. But I think that's just take, that, that's just a given because of how hot Santa Teresa is in general. Yes, yeah, so now we're about to leave. Look at Christian, he looks like he's a gang member. I, gang, I gang. am Badger Gang, baby. Badger Gang, baby. All right, All right we'll see ya.
How beautiful, how beautiful. Yeah, I can see why this is the beach to go to. All right, y'all, we out here at Playa Hermosa. But now this is crazy right here, boy. This is a whole hut right here. You can go under, get some shade. There's a child's shirt in there, so I'm not gonna go in there because it might be for someone else. But it's very dope. The views are very dope. The sand is very hot. That's why I have my shoes on this time. This is beautiful. So I think we're just gonna stay here for a little bit and then carry our tails back home. But I ain't gonna lie, the sand was like burning, scorching all the way, like all the way by those trees. That junk was scorching. But once you get up here, it feels good. So we have to move our stuff. Not a lot of people, which is a plus as well. Playa Hermosa is 10 out of 10. Highly recommend if you ever come to Santa Teresa. It's so beautiful. If you're trying to do surf lessons, it's a beginner friendly beach. Take a wild, absolute wild guess as to what Christian is drinking tonight. Everyone in the comment, guess right now. You got five, four, three, two, one. What do you think I'm drinking right now? Put your guess in. I'm drinking. Sprite. Hi, you're so cute. You ain't slick, boy. You trying to get some food from us. This place is a vibe. Yeah, so far, so it's good so far. Mm -hmm. Delish. Tomorrow's plan, uh, this is basically day two of Costa Rica. Uh, tomorrow we're going to where? Montezuma. Montezuma is a mountain, so we're going to be climbing, going to a waterfall. Hopefully we know where the freak we're going. We'll see you later. <laughs> see you tomorrow. All right, y'all. Today we're going where? Montezuma Waterfall. We're going to a waterfall, Montezuma, and we're hiking. And I know y'all probably don't know, but I don't like hiking. But I do it because I love my baby. This is for the coffee shop. Turn around. Nice. Everything's fine. Look at my hair. How do you feel? A lot of windy roads. I felt like I was on a roller coaster ride, those really tight, those last tight turns. Mm -hmm. But um, it was good. Y'all, we about, I don't know how many miles in, but we going up these trees. She really got us out here. She loved doing Caucasian things. Caucasian events. This is not what I do. Oh, Shout out to On. Shout out to Chloe for giving me these shoes. I don't know if they're meant for hiking. <laughs> But they're getting the job done right now. All right, y'all. We made it. We made it to the waterfall. And what better way to relax than in the ocean? I mean, in the water. <laughs> yeah, Maha can do her thing. I don't really know how to swim like that, so I'm gonna just. Watcher. I actually might come over here, but I ain't going no deeper. You can swim. We got fish in here. Yeah, we're just cooling right now. Yeah, my face is getting hot. Woo. I need to put sunscreen on again. They need to send a helicopter to come get us. Because <laughs> I don't feel like walking back. My house is about to jump. Oh, okay. All right, how was Water. it? 
10 out of 10, highly recommend. Should I go do it? Yeah. I'll I'll carry you at the bottom. Okay. I mean, I'll I'll catch you at the bottom. Okay, appreciate it. Yeah, anytime. We'll do it um never. Okay. No idea. I want to say it's Montezuma Beach because we're in Montezuma. That makes sense, I guess. But literally no idea. It's just so beautiful. I'm getting tired. I gotta pee. But this is maybe our last stop of the day. Then we're going back home. Skin look good, y'all. I use, these are the products I use for my face. Water, that is it. All right, come back to y'all later. All right, y'all. We are finally back to Casa Arena. Uh, we made it safe and sound. Well, on the way back, we was going past this truck. And I don't know if my ATV went on and made a noise by it and made a noise or, I don't know, there's no mark on my ATV or nothing. Like nothing's literally on it. But some, some, someone must have hit something by that truck because when it did, it made it seem like we hit it. And he was like, ah, ah. So I parked, got out of my car, honestly, that probably changed his mind <laughs> because he was a hella aggressive at first. And then he saw a black man come up to him. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. That's what it was. I parked and got out of my car. I parked. I said, oh, nah, I ain't trying to get charged for no hit and run. If I actually did hit him, I don't even think I hit him. But I got out the car and then I approached him. And I think he was just like, oh, <laughs> okay. in his mind. But in my mind, I was like all ready to apologize. But I got up there and he was, I was like, oh, that's on me. And he was like, oh, oh, okay, okay. And then fist bumped me. I fist bumped him, got back in my car and moved. So... Now that I think about it, how I look could have played a role. Yeah. <laughs> and I had a bandana on. That didn't help. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. that <laughs> Looked like a whole gang member. He was just like, oh, okay, never mind. It was not that big of a deal. Hey, we good. We good. All the drama. What it do, what it do, what it do. There's a lot of people out here. Yeah. Because it's a party. It's a party tonight. We heard the music and it was all oops, 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 Yeah, we ain't gonna be able to get down with that. And if you're into that, by all means, be into that. But one thing about can't us. can't get jiggy with that. We mess. can't get jiggy with it. No jiggy with it. But it is pretty dope. We're headed to an Italian restaurant. And back to the pharmacy because we're still we're experiencing the, the same right problems. Now? Yeah. We at another restaurant. I ain't wearing a hat. See my whole spot here. She likes it though. That was fun. Yeah, we're so wild. We we totally came out today. Yeah. All right, time to go home. <laughs> We're about to go dance to this music at the house. <laughs> <laughs> Christian couldn't help himself, you guys. He said, let's check out this ATV rental place. And look what he done got. He said, it looks cool to drive. Uh, yeah. And then I was like, man, I ain't coming back here no time soon. Yeah. And I ain't getting that in America. You're right. So it was like. That's like the equivalent of the Batmobile. That yeah. We were supposed to get a regular ATV, like um, this one right here, but we got a buggy that looked pretty cool because I knew I wasn't going to ride this anywhere else, so I might as well take advantage and ride it here. About to go to the beach in this doom buggy. This one's nice too. I feel like I want to get one low key, but I'm not. A moment for the buggy.
actually um, a lot more fun than the um, last one we had because it bounces literally everywhere due to those. But no, nah, this one's legit. This is legit. We just got done doing a photo shoot. Maha the photographer killing it. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> all right but now we're about to go but yeah this is our whip today everybody looking at us because we balling because we black <laughs> yeah because we black and balling <laughs> all right y'all we are back at playa hermoso hermosa uh it looks a lot different from the first time i think due to the fact that um the water is coming up closer. It was all the way back there, but water is a little bit more aggressive. They're surfing, bro. It's surfing like with ease. I wish y'all could see it from here. He's like surfing with ease on that way. What the freak? I wish I knew how to surf. I wish I would have got a boogie board, but ain't nobody trying to take a boogie board back to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. But yeah, man, say man, we out here, man. What's up, YouTube? This is Maha and Badger back at it again, once again. And today we're gonna build a tent on the beach in Costa Rica. We have exactly 24 hours to do it. Let's we see only what have we can, do. we can only use the resources on the beach and a tiny blanket. Exactly. So the challenge starts now. And the winner, there's no winner. There's no winner. We're trying to just avoid the heat. It is hot. The sand's hot. She has exactly 23 hours left. You might as well hurry up. Ooh, this sand is hot. I felt it. Uh, what are you doing? I'm recording the process. I'm the camera guy. You don't ever see the camera guy help Mr. Beast out. You're right. Her power. There we go. One more stick to go. She's almost done. Is she going? You got exactly 23. 23 hours still. You gotta set the towels and everything. Gotta oh, yeah. take the snacks out and make it comfortable for me. <laughs> and then you win. Right. Freak it. This is what happens when you marry an island girl. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, surprise y'all. I know y'all didn't know, but we're officially married by the way. We got married like last Saturday. But we're, we gotta have the wedding and all that stuff. But yeah, we're officially married just to let y'all know. This is my wife now. So, yeah. All right. We're all ready. She good? Yeah. All right. I'm coming to my abode. Ooh, this is nice. Here, I'll go on this side. This is nice. How much is rent? $1,500 a night. What the freak? <laughs> That's more than the Airbnb we stayed at. Pay up. Oh, my gosh. All right, y'all. Well, we're about to relax under our man-made tent, and we'll see you soon. See ya. All right, y'all. We're in our man-made tent. Yeah. Oh, we're going horseback riding, by the way. Oh, no. Did you tell them that? No. We're also going horseback riding, so this is going to be our last adventurous thing in Costa Rica. Adios. Hasta luego. Gracias. Welcome back to Badger, Badger Bunk Fish Hunting. Today we found the tad fish on the beach. I want to touch it, but I'm scared it might flop. You think it's still alive? What, you going to touch it? Throw some water on him to wake him up? <laughs> She's really about to go get some water. I don't think this is how it works, but it might Oh, he's a goner. Well, we tried to save the fish. I think he's a goner, though. Hopefully, he's having a good time in fish heaven. R.I.P. R.I.P. to fishy. All right, y'all. Bro, as you can see, that was a tough ride. <laughs> it looked like my hair died. Anyways, um, as y'all can see, we are at the second Airbnb which is very nice. My hot's in the bathroom right now. I'll show y'all that later. But yeah. So this is like literally like two minutes down the street from the last Airbnb we were at. 
He go me. Nah, saying it's kind of dark. Mm. But yeah, so uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This dirt in my hair make me want to get my hair like dyed a little bit. Change it up. You feel me? You feel me? It's like it's go hard. No, but yeah. So I'm about to take a shower. My house taking a shower, but yeah, this place is called Araja or something. It's very nice though. Very nice and clean. So we're about to go horseback riding, actually. Which is gonna be pretty dope. We got back to the hotel, freshened up, and we had a slice of pizza, which is way better than the first slice of pizza that we got for takeout that first that night crap. or the second night. Yeah, it was really, really good. And then we stopped. We're now at this ice cream shop. Wish I would have showed y'all. Naturally, Christian had to get a milkshake. Tell him what you got. I got banana ice cream milkshake. Caramel sauce and whipped cream. He's such a child. We're coming up on the hotel. This is what the outside looks like. It's called our job. Hola. Oh. Lo siento. Oh, gracias. This is the pool. This is the entrance area. How pretty. I had to get the iPhone out because the, what's it called, didn't want to work for some odd reason. But, uh, no, we're having a good time. Ain't that right? Bruno is a good horse. He just, he just know I'm new. So he trying to take advantage of me and do whatever he want. But I gotta put this phone up cause he moving a little bit. All right. We're still riding on this horse. All right, y'all. Finally getting to the end of this. We're almost done. Yeah, take it all in, Buttercup. Reality's about to set in. <laughs> all right, y'all. It is 5.30 a.m. and we're here to finally watch the sunrise. Yay. Now we're just gonna sit here and just wait till the sun comes up. The sun's gonna come right over here. So we're moving to get a better angle of the sunrise. I think it was a fail. <laughs> we thought we were gonna watch the sunrise into the distance, but that didn't happen. We watched the sky get brighter. That's what we did. Yeah, so that's it for our last day in Costa Rica. Our, our last full day. We gotta leave tomorrow, Living but you know how our last days of filming go. <laughs> we filmed a little bit, but other than that, y'all get the point. We'll see y'all tomorrow morning. GN. Last day in Costa Rica. Costa Rica! We're at the Cabano Airport, which is a small local little airport. We're an hour and a half early. Not too big of a deal. Better safe than sorry. We made it to high security and all that jazz. Um, it's Our flight to Charlotte keeps getting delayed. It's now supposed to come at 4.39. It initially was supposed to depart at 3.17. So it's gonna be a long travel date for sure. But now all we literally can do right now is just chill. Find something to eat. Find something to eat, all that jazz. Thank you.
percent is about to die. You see y'all when we see it. <laughs> What's up, you guys? What's up? Finally, we are not in Costa Rica anymore. Finally, back in Charlotte, we picked up the dogs. We've honestly been here for a couple hours now. Yep, but the flight was good. Yeah. My stomach started hurting at the end, but then when we landed, it just stopped hurting. Magically knew that we were back, back in the States. We were in the States, so my son was like, oh, I'm back home. We good. But what'd you rate the trip out of 10? I would give it a 10 out of 10, but I also had stomach issues. So I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Yeah, I give it a 9 out of 10. It was a really dope trip. Yeah. Have fun with my wife. Yeah. Had fun with my husband. But yeah, so yeah, that's basically it for this vlog. That was our another travel vlog. First out the country one. Yeah. Is it? Oh, no. No, Bermuda. Bermuda. But First yeah. non-English speaking yeah. one. Well, our country. She was handling it down. Handle it down. I was standing on business. Standing on business. Standing speaking on business. Spanish. But we're about to go eat now and get our life together. AG, 2G, all glory to God. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification, and we'll see you next time. More vlogs coming in the future. Bye.